with the third anniversary coming up in just a few months, I wanted to quickly like talk about whether it's worth to summon on this uh, upcoming two EXs that we're gonna get. We always get two EXs on the main anniversary. Now, let's just get it right. Let's just get it right out. If you play during Roger, uh, fuck that. If you play, if you're playing right now, in fact, you know just how broken these EXs are. Roger still has an impact on the meta, though not as much as he did when he came out. Um, and it's about to be a year. So let's just get out of the way. If you're summoning, uh, if you're wondering, will these characters last a long time? Yes, they 100% will last a very long time. Now, let me go over just some of the cons of um, summoning for an EX. Uh, I know a lot of people in the community do say uh, it's always worth to summon for an EX, but with the recent uh, ramp up in prices of the EXs that are coming up, um, so with the Shanks and Blackbeard banner, you were able to get these units for about 750 Rainbow Diamonds, which is a really nice deal considering how absolutely busted they were on release. Uh, and then with Big Mom, we saw an increase in the price, uh, and then it fully cemented itself when Roger and Odin came. So we thought that was going to be like the price for EXs going forward, about uh, 1750 Rainbow Diamonds per EX. Really hefty, but like, I mean, these are the meta defining units, so it's like, okay, sure, whatever. 1750 Rainbow Diamonds, not that big a deal. I mean, if you save for a while, you'll be able to afford them. So we're just going on, uh, being destroyed by Roger, being destroyed by Odin, just waiting for the 2.5 anniversary EX, who we actually predicted was going to be Kaido, a uh, red attacker Kaido, but it ended up being a Kanye. No problem. The problem came when we saw the price tag for a Kanye. So, like I said, everybody was expecting Akainu to be 1750 Rainbow Diamonds. I and other people in the community made jokes like, imagine if Kaido, I mean, imagine if Kaido, because this is who we thought the 2.5 anniversary EX would be at the time. By we, I just mean like the people who thought that. So don't like include yourself if you're not, um, like if you thought it was Akainu, then that's fine. But we were joking about it. I was like, oh, imagine if, uh, if Kaido is like 3000 Rainbow Diamonds, that'd, that'd be so funny, scam die, ha ha ha. I wasn't actually expecting them to raise the price. Uh, so my experience with that banner, I went all in. Um, I bought Rainbow Diamonds, everything. Uh, I had all that ready, expecting the EX to be 1750 Rainbow Diamonds. And so because of that, I went and summoned on, on some of the bait banners uh, that they dropped because they had some really good deals. Um, and one of the banners was uh, included two of my favorite characters to use in the game, Frankie and Pell. So I did summon on those and I maxed out my Frankie. So I'm not really, I don't really regret summoning on that. Uh, but yeah, so I summoned on those banners. I was expecting, you know, uh, Kaido. Uh, uh, let's just put a Kaido in brackets right now. Let's just say the 2.5 anniversary EX to save us a hassle. So I was expecting the 2.5 anniversary EX to be 1750. So I just went on summoning and I had uh, about 1900 Raymond Diamonds ready for the EX when it dropped. So the day comes. The EX drops. I'm like, okay, it's it's a Kainu. Damn, okay, Kobe, Kobe sent tomorrow and a Kainu. That's a interesting, but I mean, a Kainu looks pretty broken. He's definitely gonna counter Roger. Uh, I'm like, okay, let me go in and get him, make some gameplay for the channel. Uh, and then I go. We look at the banner. We're getting all hype in the voice chat and Romans Discord stuff like that. And then I see the cost. 2250 Rainbow Diamonds. For a Kainu, it wasn't even like just uh, 2,000, it's 2,250. And at that point, I was like, shit. So I just summoned, I was like, maybe I can get him, uh, luckily, like in one of the multis. I went, I burnt through almost 2,000 Rainbow Diamonds and I didn't get him at all. So I had to use all the Rainbow Diamonds that we got throughout the anniversary just to get that one copy of a Kainu. And I still haven't maxed him out, he's only 5 star recently. And I had to use frags for that. So, um, yeah, that's my experience with the EX, and that's with buying Rainbow Diamonds. If you're a free-to-pay player, I just can't imagine what, like, how much time you have to save for. So this is what I'm saying, when you have to really consider the pros and cons. Um, so for this anniversary EX, we are, we're like, we're not holding anything back. We're expecting for the EX to be, like, we wouldn't be surprised if it's 3,000 Rainbow Diamonds for the EX. Like, I'm expecting 2750 or 2500, something like that. But I would not be surprised if it was 3000 Rainbow Diamonds. So that's what I'm saying when I'm saying it might not be that worth to summon for the EX. 
um, it may be better to just save through anniversary because they give a lot of rainbow diamonds out during the anniversary. So if you and um, you know after the, each yeah, because they always drop a good counter. So if you have some of the major um, good bounty fest that we've had recently, if you have Dofi, if you have Rayleigh, Long Kid, I think you can survive like through through the anniversary without summoning. You have these meta units that you can last for a long time with then it may just be better for you not to summon of course if you want to summon that's totally fine K kaido's gonna be amazing he's gonna be fantastic um he's, he'll definitely carry you through the for through league pretty damn easily i expect um i'm just like i'm just thinking like he's gonna be really expensive uh i don't think most people have 2500 rainbow diamonds right now and w between now and the uh anniversary we're probably gonna get like maybe 300 400 rainbow diamonds uh yeah i mean we will have a first ex and then a second ex the second ex will probably be kaido so maybe we'll even get more rainbow diamonds before kaido but even then people probably most players probably around if they saved a lot if they're probably around like 1500 rainbow diamonds so um if the ex is what we're expecting and it's like 2750 you're probably not going to be getting it so uh yeah that's what i'm saying it, the counters that we're going to get after the ex will be able to take down the ex like we got with the cart he was a hard counter for roger although he did fall off shortly after because he was so hard focused on captains it's unfortunate but yeah Garp came out short right after roger um so yeah i think kaido is going to be just a tiny bit less impactful than roger because um roger does exist and if kaido is a blue defender like i'm expecting then you know roger and odin will be there to quell the uh effect of kaido but i do imagine they're gonna give kaido a little bit of offense and defense against uh the color he's weak against so uh we'll see we'll see about that that's for a whole nother video um but yeah so definitely uh, make a judgment based off how many rainbow diamonds you have if you like kaido if you think you can survive through the anniversary until the counters drop uh, you take all those fa factors into account when you're making your decision for when to for whether to summon or not on the EX. I myself, I am still debating. I might buy Rainbow Diamonds um, and summon, or I might just skip and um, save for King, who is. I mean, if King is on the Kaido banner, then yeah, I'll probably have to summon. Uh, but yeah, other than that, uh, I'm saving for King. If Kaido's especially good, I might summon. Uh, just to have fun. I am a blue main, so uh, that'll be really nice to have. Oh, but yeah, that's it. So that's pretty much the end of the video. Uh, to wrap it up, just make your decision wisely. It's getting extremely hard to be a free to rate player. Um, I think by the 3.5 anniversary EX, you basically would have to never have summoned for the entire year just to um, have enough rainbow diamonds to get that EX. And it sucks, but I mean, that's just how the. Um, the game's going to right now uh, So yeah, uh, but the good thing is uh, bounty fests are getting really really good I mean, we, really, we recently just got Rayleigh who's an amazing runner. We got Dofi, we got Kid, we got Law A lot of these units are gonna be meta defining for a long time to come Maybe not so much uh, the Reds uh, If Kaido is as broken a blue defender as I expect um, But other than that, yeah, uh, you can definitely do well with these bounty fests and if you summon for Kaido, you definitely do extremely well. So uh, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying, oh, don't summon for EXs. EXs aren't worth it. I'm saying that it de really depends on you whether or not they're worth it. If you're a free to play player, you saved your entire, you saved this entire year to get Kaido, 100% worth it. 100% worth it. You saved for the for him, he's gonna be broken. You'll do just fine. But you're probably not gonna get the next EX for the year, um, unless you're a whale. Like, that's pretty much it. Is it. The game's pretty fucked for free to play players at this point. Um, so yeah, my suggestion, just save for Bounty Fest. Uh, and if you get a Bounty Fest that you really enjoy, you can just keep that Bounty Fest and then start saving for an EX. I think that's the best move for free to play players. Just uh, invest in a top tier Bounty Fest unit or two top tier Bounty Fest units. Um, and then you can just pretty much use that unit for the those units for the entire year, save for the EX, and then you get the EX. But at this point, at the rate we're going, fourth anniversary, we're gonna be 
3,500 Rainbow Diamonds per EX, so... I mean, I'm not gonna start looking that far forward into the future or anything, but... I'd be surprised if the costs don't keep going up. But anyway, that's the end of the video. Let me know what you guys think. You you think it's worth the summon for EX? Is it better to save for the counter? Um, yeah. So I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.